What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to consume the Strapi RESTful API so that we can fetch data from the Strapi headless CMS in our next JS application. First, we are going to add a new content type using the Strapi administration panel, and then we are going to create a custom JavaScript client in our next JS application. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. This is the shops page in our next JS application where we are rendering the list of shops that we read from this data file. So now we are going to add a new content type in Strapi that is going to be the same data structure that we're using here. And then we're going to replace this file with a JavaScript client that is going to allow us to fetch the data from the Strapi REST API. Okay, now I'm going to open the Strapi project. I'm going to put the link here to the video so you can understand how to set it up. Here I'm using Strapi with MongoDB Atlas. So now let's run the Strapi administration panel. This is npm run develop. Our Strapi application is up and running. So now let's go to the Strapi administration panel and let's add a new content type. Here we are going to add a new content type. This will be a shop with these fields. So let's click here on create your first content type and this will be shop. And now let's add the fields. We wanna have a title, we're gonna have a company, the location of the shop, and finally the programming language for the position. I'm going to click on finish and I'm going to click on save. Okay, now we are going to allow to consume the get endpoint of the Strapi RESTful API so we can access the data of the shops from our next series application. So let's go to settings. Now let's go to roles and let's click on public. And here we need to click on here on the find method. So we allow to get the list of existing shops from the Strapi RESTful API. I'm going to click on find. And this is the endpoint that will be public. And I'm going to click on save. Now I'm going to add a couple of shops, the same data that we have within this array. So let's go back and I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, here I already published these three entries. Now let's go to Postman and let's test the get endpoint to get this list of shops so that we can use that endpoint from our next chase application. Let's go to Postman. And here I'm going to perform a get operation on the shops endpoint. And as we can see here, we get the list of shops. Okay, now let's go to our next chase application and let's set up a custom JavaScript client for the Strapi RESTful API. Okay, let's close this. And first, let's add a new environment variable that will be the URL of the Strapi RESTful API. So let's call it Strapi API URL. And I'm going to grab the value from post one. I'm going to copy this. And this will be the endpoint. Localhost 1337. Let's close this. And now let's add a new folder. I'm going to call it lib. And here I'm going to add a new file where I'm going to put the Strapi client. So this is Strapi client dot js. And here I'm going to create a class export class this is default and the name of the class will be strapi client i'm going to add the constructor and here i'm going to add a method to fetch the data from the api so this will be async fetch data here we're going to receive the path that will be the endpoint of the RESTful API. So this is path. And here first we need to append the path to the base URL that we have within this environment variable. So this is const, this is request URL. And here I'm going to use template literals. So this is process 
process dot end dot and I'm going to grab the name of the variable variable from here. This is strapi underscore API underscore URL. And here I'm going to append the path of the endpoint. Okay, and here I'm going to use the fetch function from JavaScript to call this endpoint. So this is const response, and this is await fetch. And I'm going to pass this request URL from here. And here we're going to get the data from the response. So this is const data equals await. And this is response dot json. And we're going to return the data. Okay, now let's go to the shops page. And first we need to remove this and we need to import the strapi client. This import strapi client from and this is lib and this is strapi client. I'm going to set a constant here. This is client and we're going to create a new instance of the class that we create new strapi client and we're going to use it here so this is const all shops equals to client dot fetch data and we're going to pass the path that is slash shops and i forgot to add a wait here this wait and i'm going to assign this value to the props and this is the list that this page is going to get here and that we are going to render here within this shop card. And here I need to change this property. If we go to Postman, here we're gonna see that the identifier that we get from this API is underscore ID. So I'm going to use that one. So this is underscore ID. Here we're using get static props because we are consuming data from a CMS and we are able to access data before we get any request. So it makes sense to use this approach here. Okay, now let's run our next series application. This is npm run dev. Okay, and now let's open the shops page and let's see if this works as we expect. And as we can see here, we are showing here the list of shops that we get from the Strapi RESTful API. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.